Hello students, today I am going to teach you uh, how to use properties of proportion to solve some equations. We have given some equation x cube plus 3x upon 3x square plus 1 which equals to 341 upon 91. And now by using properties of proportion, we have to solve these equations. So first of all, you must know what are the properties of proportion. Say we have following five properties of proportion. One, say suppose if A upon B is equal to C upon D. First of all students, you must know what is proportion. Whenever two ratios are equal, like A upon B is one ratio, C upon D is the second ratio. When the two ratios are equal, when two ratios are equal, we say these quantities A, B, C, D. These are the four quantities are in proportion. So A, B, C, D are said to be in proportion if A upon B is equal to C upon D. That is meaning of proportion. Now what are the properties? Fourth property inverted. So in inverted though, what we do? We reciprocal both the side. Means this B upon A will become equals to D upon C. So this is called as inverted. We reciprocal both sides. Then alternate. What is alternate? We alter the places. Like this A will go in the place of D and this D will go in place of A. Like D by B. This D is going in place of A. Which equals to this D will go in B is taking this own position C upon A. Or else it can be done vice versa. Like A and D will be at own position and this B and C will get interchange. I hope you understood that. Next one is component. What is component? What is component? We add 1 on both sides. So if I 1 over here and if I add 1 over here, what will happen? We will We will have to add 1. So a plus b upon b or else we can say just we add the denominator in the numerator which equals to c plus d upon d. I hope you understood that whatever is the denominator just add it to the numerator on both sides. So over here the denominator is b which I added with a and over here the denominator was d which I added with c. Then dividend though. So what exactly is dividend? Dividend is nothing but whatever is the denominator we subtract from the numerator. So the denominator is b, we will subtract from a. So a minus b by b which equals to c minus d upon d. And the last and very important one is called as component of dividend. What is component dividend of C? Uh, this process is nothing but divide this component of and dividend of. But how exactly we do in the sums? I will teach you with this rule and then I will show you how to use in one particular sum. So let's see first of all how exactly this rule works out over here. So I will copy this numerator two times. Let's say A by A which equals to C by C. Did you understand? Repeat once again. I copied A by A. The numerator I copied two times. C by C. And then the denominator I will add in the numerator. And in the denominator we will subtract. Minus B minus A. 
in case if you have understood it's really nice otherwise you can rewind this video and you can watch it again please friends do not uh, think like this is very easy topic you you need lot of practice in this topic you know uh, then you will feel it's really easy and simple actually this topic is very very simple in case if you have practiced it really very well and if you know these five properties uh the four mark question or three mark questions will be there in your examinations and you will be able to do it very easily students remember that my channel what i'm making for you so please uh, like it subscribe it and watch it again and again and also tell your other friends to watch this channel because i am whatever this work doing is for all the students like you know generally people uh, do not get this at one go this so all so I feel like if I make such kind of videos, you can watch it this again and again, and you can uh, get a good benefit out of it. So, students, you can let's say how to do this sum by using this property. So, these are called as properties of uh, proportion. And now we'll be doing this sum. Say, what is the sum? X p plus three x upon three x square plus one and three forty one upon ninety one. So, what we will do? We will using component dividend what will happen see what i have taught you in the component dividend copy this numerator two times so like here the numerator is this and this is like the denominator so i copy the numerator two times so x q plus 3x and x cube plus 3x on other side numerator is 341 341 I copied that two times numerator and the denominator numerator and the denominator and whatever is the denominator I will add in the numerator and subtract in the denominator I hope you understand that in case not please watch it plus the denominator I add so 3x squared plus 1 and in the denominator we have to subtract so when I'm subtracting these, both the signs will change. It. Remember, student, most of the people remember that to change it at the first go, but the second sign also changes. Uh, make sure that you have changed this sign also. This is like some place where like you know people make some kind of error. So you should be little precautious at this sign. Then plus again the denominator we add in the numerator and the denominator we subtract in the denominator. I hope you understood it. If these steps get slipped, you get straight two marks. Isn't it nice? So out of four marks, two marks you have got. Now, how do you get four out of four? See, many students do not know, like they do just cross multiplication of this. Actually, that is uh, nothing wrong in that, but there is one simpler method. You will observe this x cube plus 3x plus 3x square plus 1. It is actually one perfect cube. It is a cube of x plus 1 the whole cube. You have already learned in standard 9 what is x plus 1 the whole cube. And you use this uh, expansion in many chapters. So I guess uh, this you can get click on this particular chapter also. And this like x cube plus 3x minus 3x square minus 1 is a perfect cube of x minus 1. Isn't it? And now this is the again what if I simplify this 341 plus 91 adds up to 1 plus 1, 2, 9 plus 4, 13 and 1 carry so it becomes 432 upon this will become 250 and which can be simplified as 216 upon 125 I have divided both numerator and the denominator by 2 so it becomes 216 and this becomes 125 probably you may think I am going little fast but you can uh, this is a video so you can stop, you can rewind it and something can be done so you know you'll get the how exactly I'm doing it. And now see this power is three. So also this we need to make sure that this is also power of three. So this is the power of six and five whole raised to the power three. So whenever the powers are same, you know students indices rules are already told in the ninth standard as well as in my previous videos how exactly indices rule works. So x plus one upon x minus one is equal to six by five. I have done cube root on both sides. Cube root on both sides. 
Isn't it? So I have done cube root on both sides. Now what is left over? X plus 1 upon x minus 1 is equal to 6 upon 5. Again, some students can do over here cross multiplications, and some people can do uh, component dividend. I can see if I do component dividend, x plus 1, x plus 1, which equals to 6, 6. What is component dividend? Copy the numerator two times. I have copied the numerator x plus 1, x plus 1, and 6 and 6. Now, what we have to do? At the denominator, we add in the numerator. The denominator, that is plus x minus 1 and plus 5 and the denominator we subtract in the denominator so minus x now students remember that if this is minus 1 minus of minus will become plus 1 and this is minus 5 and I guess plus 1 minus 1 will get cancelled so this becomes 2x and plus x minus x will get cancelled so it becomes 2 which equals to 6 plus 5 11 upon 6 minus 5 1 so this 2 and 2 will get cancelled so answer x is equal to 11 I hope you understood that and this is how easily we can get the answer in like few steps and for that you are going to get 4 marks. So students, I hope you like this video. In case if you have liked it, press the like sign as well as subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.